Do you remember stepping into your MMORPG for the first time? That dizzying amount of information and wonder, the splendor and dropped y'all all that the MMO gave you as you explored what felt like infinite possibilities in a world filled with people from all over the world. Who would your avatar become in this MMORPG? For most of us, we will think of a classic MMO and remember fondly socializing aspects and dreams filled with aspirations of becoming the greatest warrior or wizard on the server. Perhaps you had inspiration to sell your crafted wares and become known as the server's best blacksmith. Or it could be that you wanted to simply meet a lot of great people and go out on adventures in this ever-evolving world in your MMO. Maybe you were thinking of EverQuest or perhaps World of Warcraft Vanilla or Dark Age of Camelot. Maybe Final Fantasy XI or EverQuest Online Adventures. It really doesn't matter what MMO RPG you are thinking of that first time, that first dive into a fantasy world where you have impact, where you can shape and change the world was absolutely magical. What if it were offered to you to erase your memories, your knowledge of MMORPGs, to enter a classic MMORPG with innocent baby eyes and explore it all again? Would you do it? What would it be like? How different would you approach an MMORPG, even a more recent one like Elder Scrolls Online or Final Final Fantasy 14 or New World if you had no preconceptions, no previous MMORPG experience. Sometimes you run across a forum article where someone is explaining they had never played an MMO before and they are trying out one for the first time, and I find these to be the most insightful views of the MMORPG genre, the most raw and the most honest because let's face it, that magic is lost to people like you and I. We have already built in our brains what we want out of an MMORPG. We have expectations, we have notions, opinions, heartbreaks, and memories. In other words, we have baggage. And we wear our baggage on our shoulders like a badge of honor and trounce into new worlds and begin ripping it apart. This aspect isn't as good as Game X. The graphics aren't as good as Game Y. And the exploration isn't on par with Game Z. But what if you realized that your expectations and opinions have reached a peak that no game could ever launch and meet? Maybe you've seen top tier in all the aspects across generations of MMORPGs. Maybe you are approaching the new experience completely sideways, now expecting top tier perfection that not any of the other MMOs were able to accomplish on their own, but the MMO genre has reached collectively. Maybe this new MMO is much better than you are giving it credit. Now this isn't always true, there are inherently bad MMORPGs. There are ones that simply don't work, have too many bugs to be enjoyed, or simply don't run good, etc. Remember the Vanguard Saga of Heroes launch, anyone. But I do believe, and comment down below your thoughts on this, if you could toss away your previous memories of MMORPGs, your experiences in EverQuest or Ultima Online or any other classic MMO and jump straight into World of Warcraft Classic, you would probably fall in love. I think if you jumped in and had no memory of an MMORPG or any kind of baggage with you, you would likely fall in love with Elder Scrolls Online, or Final Fantasy XIV, or even possibly, dare I say it, New World. Now, experience isn't evil, don't misunderstand me, but it is definitely interesting to think about that games are here, that we can play, that we sh can enjoy, that we can dive into headfirst and have a blast, but in oftentimes we are too stuck in our own expectations to enjoy them sometimes. We hop game to game, we anticipate the next thing to scratch the itch, we find reasons to not enjoy something we by all definitions should enjoy. Now I'm guilty of it and I plan to continue being guilty of it until my game or my world releases, which I am heavily invested in the future prospects of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. And I'm eagerly anticipating Ashes of Creation. But when they get here, when the time is finally here and those servers are open and we can play, I plan to go in with less expectations, less judgment, less pre-contrived notions of what I know, of what my past experiences are telling me. Because these are lovingly crafted worlds with brand new experiences. And my past experiences do not matter anymore. What matters is this. Am I having fun? Am I meeting new people and enjoying a world with them? Do I want to be here in this fantasy virtual world and do I get more out of it than I am putting?
putting into it. The sensations of deeper learning, a satiated appetite for exploration and discovery, bonds and friendships, adventure and excitement. But for many, finding something to play, something to do, a world to enjoy while waiting can mean a lot of different things. Real quick before we continue, I want to give a major shout out to the members of Napalm. Thanks to their contributions, I can get the equipment and gear that I need to keep this channel ticking. Covering MMOs, RPGs, and of course, puppets. If you're interested in becoming a member of Napalm, please click the join button down below. It would be greatly appreciated. And a very special major shout out to the Lords of Napalm. Bounty Code, We Toke Bitcoins, Jared Woodhouse, Dimelos, and Farthest Reach. Thank you for your highest tier membership. Now onto the videos, and I challenge you to pick an MMORPG that you know has to be pretty darn good to have the following it has, and practice this. Every time your brain begins arguing, tell it to shut up, and play it exactly how you want to play it. If you want to socialize, then try to socialize. You want to run dungeons? Go start looking for people to run the dungeon with. Yelling it out, shouting it out, talking in general chat, whatever it takes. Try to play an MMORPG exactly the way you remember playing it, or the way you want to play it. Play it and mold your experience with the world and see if you don't find a place to rest your weary MMORPG lover head. For a while at least, a place you can enjoy and find pleasure and relaxation, excitement and joy. And that voice in your head will constantly chirp and kick and scream and just continue wiping it away and you just worry about having some fun. If you are capable of pulling this off, it works best in an MMORPG you have never given a real chance. Elder Scrolls Online, World of Warcraft Classic, are two great examples of MMOs that are actually really good in their own right. But most of you have probably already done these and maybe even many times. So consider something like Lord of the Rings Online. I mean, it's the best rendition of Middle-earth and it's very easy to fall in love with due to its excellent writing. Project Gorgon is another MMO that is old school and slap filled with surprises in a very deep game and world. Those would be my suggestions. But don't forget the real secret here. Tell your MMO experiences of the past to shut up and just enjoy the game for what it is. There will be things that make you wince. There will be things that make you cringe. There will be things that aren't what you want. But get past those things and just accept them as design philosophies that you don't agree with but doesn't necessarily need to ruin your entire experience. After all, I'll bet when you were younger you would get a new game from your parents and play it for hundreds of hours and not even really like it. But you enjoyed the experience. You enjoyed the newness. You were Respected the vision of what the developer was trying to give you. And that's your weekend homework. See what you can get out of an MMORPG when you approach it in this way. And see if you don't find there are more worlds and adventures out there than you could possibly ever fulfill. Please drop a comment down below what game you want to try this on, or if you agree or disagree with my assessment, or your memories of playing a favorite classic MMORPG, and what really made you enjoy it so much. And consider subscribing if you enjoy MMORPG content, I also cover RPGs in general, JRPGs, CRPGs, and even tabletop RPGs. And don't forget to hit that like button to help me fight the epic YouTube algorithm. And until next time, my friends, God bless and happy gaming.